now on Coast TV News. We're starting to dry out after a weekend of rain and fog with colder weather in store for much of the week ahead. I'll tell you how cold it gets and if we could see any rain or possible snowflakes in the forecast that's coming up. Two drones shot down after a commercial ship came under attack what the Pentagon is now saying. And some lane closures and delays after a serious accident in the Seaford area, what we know this morning. In the future of weed in Sussex County, what City Council is discussing and the latest town to consider a ban. This is Coast TV News Today. Good morning, everybody. I'm Paige Marley. Thank you so much for being up with us during our 6 o'clock hour. We are going to bring in first alert meteorologist Bob Trahi. He joins us now with a look at your forecast. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Paige. Good morning, Del Marva. Certainly was a foggy, kind of a dreary weekend. We're beginning to dry things out as we go into our Monday. That seems like a recurring pattern a lot, doesn't it? It seems to get better on Mondays. 47 in Redden, 47 in Millsboro. Still maybe some wet roads out there. 48 Indian River Inlet. And good morning to Rehoboth. 50 degrees to start your Monday. As we're looking at a northwest breeze, and that's starting to dry us out, but we still have a lot of clouds. I think we're seeing some stars as well. Those clouds will be pretty persistent as we go through the day. Here's future cast this morning. Could see some sunshine, but also some clouds. And by mid-morning, upper 40s, close to 50. 50 degrees inland and the same along the coast as we go into the noon hour lower 50s from Ellendale to Georgetown around 54 Selbyville Delmar 53 51 in Bethany Beach then into the afternoon we will start to see those clouds increasing once again so that could knock the temperatures down just a little bit around 50 in Ellendale and Lewis and 50 for Fenwick Island and we'll keep it mostly cloudy into this evening with temperatures falling back into the 40s so here's your day part forecast a bit of a northwest breeze but we start to dry it out with mostly cloudy skies 50s today but much colder 40s are on the way and as i mentioned maybe a snowflake in the forecast i'll talk about that coming up thank you so much attention for seaford drivers an accident was reported last night on route 13 and middleford road with a serious injury reported we don't have a lot of details just yet but we do know that the northbound lanes on 13 were closed down and one of the southbound lanes as well as you can imagine this caused some major delays we will update you when more information becomes available. You should keep an eye on the Coast TV News app or coasttvnews.com for more information. We have an update now on the recreational marijuana situation along our coast. It appears another community is closer to taking action on the drug. Today, Selbyville is proposing to ban the sale and manufacturing of recreational marijuana within its town limits. A public hearing is scheduled for today at 6 p.m. at Town Hall. That's on West Church Street. And Sussex County Council will discuss marijuana as well this week. According to this week's county agenda meeting, Assistant County Attorney Vince Robertson will give a presentation on the Delaware Marijuana Control Act. That was the state law that regulates and taxes marijuana in the same manner as alcohol and makes it legal for those over 21. No specifics just yet on what will be discussed, but that council meets Tuesday morning. Also happening tonight, Milton Town Council will hear a request to improve the rail trail crossing at Federal Street. A committee wants to add what's called flex posts in the goal to reduce the crossing distance, slow drivers down, and increase instances of driver stopping. The committee also requests that DelDOT considers more permanent infrastructure. Delaware legislators will meet Wednesday for a hearing on what's called Delaware's affordable housing crisis. That's all happening 10 a.m. Wednesday, where 20 members of the Senate and the House will hear from authors of several new reports on the current state of Delaware's housing market. The leadership says the goals of the hearing is to get to work on addressing affordable housing earlier than normal and look at specific barriers and issues that Delawareans face when it comes to becoming homeowners. For the second time this fall, Sussex County Council will hear a slew of conditional use applications about solar farms. They will hear seven applications in total. Those applications are in Harbison, Delmar, Lewis, Laurel, Bridgeville, and Georgetown. The solar farms range in size and all proposed by ConEd. It's one of the largest energy companies in the U.S. This morning, Israel is expanding its ground operations in Gaza amid ongoing concerns that the conflict between Israel and Hamas could spread to other parts of the Middle East. NBC's Bree Jackson shows us how the fighting has resumed after an extended truce and what officials fear could be new consequences. 
Israel intensifying its attacks on the Gaza Strip after negotiations over a pause in fighting stalled. It fell apart because Hamas was unwilling and, and, uh, and refused to come up with additional lists of women and children, which we know they are holding. Tomorrow. Israel is vowing to continue the war despite repeated calls for a ceasefire. The Biden administration is urging Israel to limit civilian deaths and is still working to secure the release of the remaining hostages. We're working at this literally by the hour at the National Security Council and all the way up uh, the high levels of the administration. Lawmakers are also calling for a long-term political solution. Hamas needs to be taken out. It is a terrorist organization. How would you do that? But I think the way to do that, as many terrorism experts have said, is to create a durable and strong coalition of allies. What happens next? That's when I want the Arab world, the United States and the Western world to come in with a governing plan different than we have today. Meanwhile, there are growing concerns that the conflict could spread to other parts of the region. A U.S. warship shot down at least two Houthi drones Sunday. It happened in the Red Sea, where Houthi rebels have been launching a series of attacks on vessels. The Pentagon says it does not appear the USS Kearney itself was a target. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News. And United States troops in Iraq and Syria have been attacked more than 60 times since this conflict began. The U.S. has launched some strikes there in response. And as you briefly just heard there, the USS Kearney shot down at least two Houthi drones Sunday. This was in the southern Red Sea when a commercial ship came under attack. According to the Pentagon, it does not appear that the American warship was the target of that attack. The Pentagon says the USS Kearney observed at least one ballistic missile fire, which landed in the vicinity of a civilian commercial vessel called the Unity Explorer. And while it was assisting that vessel, the USS Kearney shot down another Houthi drone that was headed in both ships' direction. Good morning, everybody. I'm Madeline Overturf. I hope you had a great weekend. Here's a look at just some of the things happening across Delmarva. First, a man was shot while leaving a Wawa in Dover. Police say it happened around 5.30 a.m. Sunday at the store on Forest Avenue. As he was leaving, he said he heard gunshots and then realized he had been shot. He is recovering. Just after midnight Saturday, the Salisbury Fire Department was called out to a fire at Delmarva Power. You can see the response in these pictures. A small fire located inside quickly put out. No word yet on the estimated damage caused by the burn. Monday afternoon, the city of Lewis is talking about dark skies. Some of the discussion will revolve around what type of lights can be used to stop light pollution. That's at 1 p.m. And then be sure to join us tonight at 5 and 6 for your latest Coast TV news and weather or download our Coast TV news app. For Coast TV news, I'm Madeline Overturf. We have a lot more news to get to this morning on Coast TV news today coming up college football playoff drama. Why one school is facing major disappointment after a league decision over the weekend. And outdoor dining is back on the table in Rehoboth Beach. What city commissioners are scheduled to discuss regarding new rules for restaurants in the city. And dredging in Fenwick Island, that's scheduled to be discussed this week. What could be decided now that all three public notification periods have already been complete. All that and more as Coast TV News Today continues. Enjoy 10 songs in a row, brought to you by Pohanka Kier of Salisbury. Born in the stars, formed in the earth, shaped by designers around the world, and curated by Kalsa Jewelers in Lewis. Paul Chen, also known as Sunder Kalsa, is a meditation and yoga master as well as the owner of Kalsa Jewelers. We are Kalsa Jewelers, offer signature pieces that represents the beauty, the love, and also the celebration of our life. Find your peace in historic Lewis, Rehoboth Beach, Instagram, and Facebook. Get ready to soar with the Hawks. Delmarva Sports Network is your exclusive home for UMES Hawks basketball. From the first whistle to the final buzzer, DSN will take you courtside. Experience the excitement of both the men's and women's teams with every dribble, steal, and three-pointer. To see the schedule or watch the games, go to delmarvasportsnetwork.com or download the DSN app. 
Join us all season long only on the Delmarva Sports Network, your exclusive home for UMES Hawks basketball. Middays with me, April Brilliant. It's a feel-good show on your radio. April is the easiest way to get through your workday. She can play your favorite song. She can help you find your furry friend. The easiest way to get through your workday is with April. She really makes you feel special. Hey friends, hang out with me weekdays here on Coast Country 1039 and 1063 each day from 10 to 3. The Delmarva Sports Network wants to congratulate the Cape Henlopen Vikings for an outstanding football season. The Delmarva community is so proud of you. Local teams, big dreams. It is exactly 610 on this Monday morning. We're beginning to dry things out and seeing some well, decent traffic right now on our Tidal Health Cam in Seaford. Visibility is good. Roads are drying out 45 right now in Seaford, and we've got 40s in a lot of places, even 50 in Rehoboth and Greenwood, 46 Seaford, Delmar right now, 45. We've got a northwest breeze, and that's beginning to dry us out. However, we still have a lot of clouds out there, and you know, I think mostly cloudy skies will pretty much be the scene as we go through the day for the bus stop for the kiddos off to school chilly but nothing too crazy for december 46 then heading home mostly cloudy dry and cool in 53. bob thank you this morning a man is facing charges after delaware state police arrested him for a felony dui here's what police say happened troopers say they observed 50 year old sean haynes drifting and swerving while driving this was saturday night at around 8 10 p.m in seaford if convicted this would be haynes fifth dui Coming up this week, Fenwick Island will review the dredging committee commitments related to the town's 10-year comprehensive plan. That meeting is slated for Wednesday, December 6. All three public notification periods have already been completed, and we should be learning more about the anticipated timing of the final permits for this project. 50 major oil and gas companies have pledged to dramatically cut their methane emissions by the end of the decade. Among the companies that announced they will reduce their methane emissions by around 80 to 90 percent include ExxonMobil and Saudi Arabia's Armco. That comes as the Biden administration also announced it has finalized a rule to slash methane emissions by nearly 80 percent through the year 2038. The new policies will end routine flaring of natural gas that is produced by drilled oil wells. It will also require stringent leak monitoring of oil and gas wells and compressors. A New York Times investigation shows air traffic controllers are by and large overworked, demoralized, and at greater risk of making mistakes. The Times interviewed more than 70 current and former air traffic controllers, pilots, and federal officials. The paper says air traffic controllers and others submitted hundreds of complaints over the past two years to an FAA hotline. The complaints described issues including staffing shortages, mental health problems, and unpleasant working conditions. The Times reported last August that while the U.S. airspace is remarkably safe, potentially dangerous close calls have happened on average several times a week just this year. Still more to come this morning. Rehoboth Beach is set to pick apart new rules for outdoor dining. What possible changes are on that agenda? And mostly cloudy skies right now in our Tyndall's casual furniture cam. Maybe a few peaks of stars, blue skies, and we'll be seeing that today as we start to dry out after the weekend rain. We do have a colder week ahead, but mainly dry. I'll have the hour by hour forecast after the break on Coast TV News today. It all started with a food truck, a truck and a dream of bringing excellent street food to our community. That dream became Tiki Jack's as we know it today. From mouth-watering street tacos to our signature sandwiches and street-inspired entrees, Tiki Jack's is the ultimate destination for comfort food by the shore. Whether you're dining out with family or looking for a fun night out with friends, stop by Tiki Jack's of Rehoboth Beach today for all your street eats and brews. Sign up to grow your team at the 2024 Draper Media Job Fair, powered by Premier Staffing Solutions. Be a part of the best marketed and most successful job fair on Delmarva, according to past employers who participated. The Draper Media Job Fair is Saturday, February 24th from 10 to 2 in the Jason Building at Dell Tech in Georgetown. Meet over 1,000 applicants looking for work. For more info, go to wbocevents.com. 
Middays with me, April Brilliant. It's a feel-good show on your radio. April is the easiest way to get through your workday. She can play your favorite song. She can help you find your furry friend. The easiest way to get through your workday is with April. She really makes you feel special. Hey friends, hang out with me weekdays here on Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3 each day from 10 to 3. Your dirty vents may be telling you something. Pounds of dirt, dust, and contaminants are trapped in your air ducts. That's why you need a professional air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer. We've been cleaning air ducts the right way for over 25 years. Our NADCA certified technicians and powerful equipment clean your entire system, extracting the dirt into our trucks, removing it from your home completely. For better indoor air quality and improved HVAC efficiency, call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. It is now 6.15 on your Monday morning, a very pleasant morning, not too terrible. You know, Bob, I was telling you earlier, I wish I could have seen more stars this morning, but now it's, I'm kind of over it. I'm just ready to see the sun. And as we take a live look right now, we can see maybe a little bit of that light in the background. Do you think it's coming from the sun? Uh, not quite yet. I think it's from the lights on the horizon, maybe, Paige. But, uh, yeah, we're not seeing the best uh, star-viewing skies this morning. But I'll take that over fog and rain like we had this past weekend. And the weather is beginning to improve. Make sure you scan the QR code right there. Get your phone in camera mode. Hold it up, and you'll get the Coast TV weather app. Really lots of great stuff on there to check out. Check this out. 54 the high today. A little bit above the average of 53. But that's short-lived because we have much cold air building in Tuesday 48 46 the high on Wednesday and Thursday 45 so yeah winter is back or at least that taste of winter through a good part of the week and then by Friday we're back to 55 degrees we've been able to leave those plants outside the last few days with the mild weather but now you have to bring them back in you can see the icicles growing longer and longer a light freeze Tuesday and Wednesday morning even harder freeze by Thursday really cold then and then still pretty cold Friday morning with a hard freeze and and still a chance of a freeze as we go into Saturday. So make sure you take care of those tender plants. Temperatures are in the 40s to around 50 in Greenwood right now. 44 Salisbury, 47 Millsboro, 47 in Bethany Beach. So we're not scraping ice this morning, so that's good. But you have to warm up the car nonetheless as we have a light northwest breeze. Nothing in the way of precipitation. We're looking at mostly cloudy skies. We are starting to see that drier air building in, but still the clouds are pretty pesky over the top of us back through Virginia. So I think we'll be looking at a lot of those clouds today. They're looking at snow across Maine and parts of New England. That's where winter is, and we're watching a low pressure across Missouri. But that will tend to fizzle out as it moves to the east. So for us this morning, it's just well, kind of cloudy. We'll see some breaks of sun, and by mid-morning, upper 40s to around 50, lower 50s by noon. And then I think we see more clouds this afternoon. So even though we'll see highs maybe in the mid-50s, it does cool off through the afternoon with the clouds and kind of cloudy this evening, and then it does clear out through the the overnight. So by tomorrow morning, it's going to be pretty chilly into the low to mid 30s inland, upper 30s along the coast. And then as we go into the rest of your Tuesday, we're looking at partly to mostly cloudy skies and it will be colder. There are the 40s for highs. So you'll be feeling that for sure. As we go into tomorrow night, there'll be a weak clipper system heading our way. It could trigger a snowflake or a rain drop very early Wednesday, but not a big deal. Otherwise, temperatures in the 30s with part of the cloudy skies Wednesday morning. As we're looking at a Northwest breeze pretty persistent as we go through today, tonight, and tomorrow. That will continue to usher in some of the cooler air. And the weekend looking 50 50. Saturday is not bad. It's Sunday that we start to increase the clouds and maybe rain, and that could last into Monday. That could be a significant system. We'll be watching that. Anyway, here's your day part forecast for today. Temperatures rising into the 50s, and your Paul Davis 10 day forecast shows us cooling back into the 40s Tuesday through Thursday. Hard freeze Thursday morning. At 26, but then warming up towards Friday into the weekend. And by the weekend, a better rain chance by Sunday into early Monday. All right, not bad, Bob. Thank you so much. Happening today, outdoor dining back on the table in Rehoboth Beach. The city is reviewing a design manual at the commissioner's meeting. Restaurants have to meet certain criteria to apply for a permit. That includes table and chair placement on the sidewalks. Only two top and or four top tables are allowed, leaving room for pedestrian access, putting up physical separation barriers to define the dining space and more. 
Application fees are $150 and the license itself is $325. The city is also set to discuss possibly extending dates and times when dogs are allowed on the beach and boardwalk. Coming up on Coast TV News today, the teams headed to the college football playoffs have been decided over the weekend. Which teams will face off against each other? Don't go anywhere. Delmarva's Holiday House is brought to you by Bay to Beach Builders. Positive, focused, supportive, and goal oriented. These are just a few qualities of coaches who inspire their athletes. Each month, the Preston Automotive Group will select a coach who makes a difference and make a $500 donation to their organization. Then, at the end of the year, three of these coaches will receive an extra donation to their program. Nominate your coach today at DelmarvaSportsNetwork.com under the Features tab. Delmarva Sports Network Coach Who Makes a Difference. Brought to you by Preston Automotive Group. The fear of misunderstanding or missing out on conversations can be overwhelming. As hearing fades, so does the connection to others, leading towards isolation and anxiety. An audiologist can test you and find solutions for your hearing loss. Modern hearing aids can improve your hearing and restore the joy of conversations. Call Mast Audiology to learn how Signia hearing aids can treat your hearing loss. Don't let hearing loss silence your life. For more information about Mast Audiology, go to DelmarvaExperts.com. Doctors, lawyers, teachers, bus drivers, cashiers, librarians, the helpful smile of a helper, a caretaker, a healer, a giver, can also hide the deepest suffering. Domestic violence impacts everyone, even our everyday heroes. What is your voice is here to help? Call our helpline at 302-467-3310 or visit whatisyourvoice.org. The Delmarva Sports Network wants to congratulate the Stephen Decatur Seahawks for being state champions for the first time in school history. The Delmarva community is so proud of you. Local teams, big dreams. At Coast TV, our promise is to guide, inform, and protect. Coast TV and the First Alert Weather Team, your safety, our commitment. Well, many people, as you know, tune in to Sunday Night Football and those games that you can also catch right here on Coast TV. But just for a minute here, we're going to turn to college ball because Florida State went undefeated in the college football season, a perfect 13-0. But get this, they will not be featured this year in the college football playoffs. The Seminoles got the tough news over the weekend. FSU fans enraged, of course, as one lost Texas and one lost Alabama. They're both in, along with the unexpected undefeated teams, Washington and in Michigan. So this leads us right into our Coast TV poll. We want to know, do you agree with the College Football Selection Committee? And if you don't, who do you think should be out? So, so far, 24% of you do agree, but this is what's interesting. Just last hour, it was around 70% of you said, get Alabama out of there. Now it's 66% of you because more votes came in. You want Michigan out of there. You want Washington out of there. You want Texas out of there. Oh my gosh, a lot of opinions, a lot of controversy, myself included. I don't understand the FSU thing, but I guess I don't have to understand. If you haven't voted yet, you still can. Give us your opinion and vote on coasttvnews.com or, of course, use our Coast TV News app. We'll continue to update you later on today throughout our newscasts. Well, we're going to continue talking about football. The University of Delaware football program is leveling up in a move that should delight a lot of sports fans in our area. University of Delaware's athletic director is sitting down with Tim Furlong from our sister station in Philadelphia to discuss what's being billed as a monumental moment for one of our region's largest universities. So it's a significant deal, if you will. Bet not ourselves. Bet. The University of Delaware's athletic director says her blue hands are moving on up, up to the FBS or football bowl subdivision, which is the highest tier of college football that teams like Clemson, Penn State and Michigan are in. Football and many other UD teams are joining Conference USA in 2025, which means they'll bid farewell to the Coastal Athletic Association, where they played against smaller schools and their games aired primarily on the Flow Sports platform. The move will increase UD's national exposure big time, I'm told. 40 times more people will now see their games on ESPN and ESPN Plus. 40 times, yeah, so because almost 300,000 viewers when we're watching um, football on ESPN. The head of one of the Blue Hens' longest running supporter groups is thrilled with the move. So the whole landscape of the conference that we're in has changed to make it much less interesting. 
Um, so I'm very excited about this. Conference USA's member schools are spread across the southern half of the country, and this move could also mean more fun out-of-conference games in Newark, like lots of talk about reuniting rivalries with regional schools like Temple. This move also means UD can offer more athletic scholarships, which means higher tier recruiting of student athletes. They hope it means more fans and seats, which also means more visitors spending money in Newark and all of Delaware. Popular and successful sports teams also can lead to more national recognition for a university's academic offerings, which can help attract more elite students, not just the student athletes. James Madison University used to be one of Delaware's rivals. They moved up to the Sun Belt Conference, which is at the FBS level. And in just a couple years, they've had appearances in the top 25 in both football and men's basketball. They even had a visit from ESPN's college game day crew, which would be I don't know, pretty darn awesome to have here in Newark. Conference USA doesn't have seven of the sports UD offers, so the athletic department is working on new homes for those teams, and they will fundraise for the $5 million NCAA reclassification fee. Yeah, that ain't cheap, but they believe they're fighting blue hens. They're ready to fly. Well, I know actual hens don't fly that well, but you get my point. Where we sit from a recruiting footprint, from the facilities I mentioned, the history, the fan base, uh, you know, this is a place that belongs at the FBS level. Well, we've been talking about football, Bob, and today might not be a terrible day to maybe throw the football around on the beach, outside, not too hot, not too cold. What do you think? Just right. In fact, Paige, today's high is exactly where we should be for this early part of December. Average high is around 53, so 52 in Milford, 54 Georgetown, awfully close. Lewis around 54. We'll see a lot of clouds today, a little bit of sunshine, and a brisk west-northwest breeze. 52 in the east and 56 Cambridge, Federalsburg, 54. Pocomoke City, Chincoteague, 58, so a little milder for you. Prince of Sand, 56 in Berlin at 56. But we do cool it down the next few days. I'll tell you how cold cold and if there's any rain or snowflakes in our future that's coming up. Thanks Bob. Also coming up after the break we have an update in the case of the three Palestinian students who were shot in Vermont. What the mother of one of the students is now saying regarding her son's condition. And solar farm suggestions. Seven new solar farm proposals in Sussex County where these environmental ideas are located. And more marijuana meetings are taking place in the first state this week. We'll tell you which communities are set to tackle the drug. We'll be right back on Coast TV News Today. At Draper Media, we offer more than TV and radio advertising. We reach your customers wherever they are, at the gas pump, in bars and restaurants, driving around Delmarva, in a taxi or rideshare at the beach, on social media, or searching for products and services, checking their email, and listening to podcasts or streaming video. Let our team build a plan that best fits your business. Email Frank Hamilton today. What's this? It's a gift from the Delaware Electric Cooperative. But why did they give us a billing credit? Since the co-op is owned by its members, each Christmas, DEC returns money to those members. This December, DEC is giving $5 million back to those who were members in 2011. These refunds are one of the many ways the co-op is different from for-profit utilities. It is the season of giving. Wow! Ho, ho, ho. From our DEC family to yours, Merry Christmas. Not everyone wants a big funeral. For those seeking a simple alternative, the Eastern Shore's most trusted family and funeral service offers another option. Eastern Shore Cremation and Funeral Service is simple and affordable. A direct cremation tribute starts at just $15.95 or choose to have a small visitation service serving Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia with easy consultation by phone and streamlined electronic documentation. Learn more at easternshorecremation.com. Eastern Shore Cremation and Funeral Services, simply respectful. Today. It is nearly 6.30. Thank you so much for joining us as we continue this morning. I'm Paige Marley. Not a bad December morning, really not terrible at all. We're going to bring in first alert meteorologist Bob Trahi to get you started during this half hour. Bob, no complaints, at least from my side of things. Not too bad of a day. 
Bree Page, good morning to you. Good morning, Del Marvy. Yes, uh, so far so good. Don't have to scrape the ice this morning, not dealing with any rain or low visibility. It's cool, but as we know, it can be a lot colder this time of year. 45 out the door in Millsboro, Seaford 46, Salisbury 44, 48 Indian River Inlet. We've got a bit of a northwest breeze, and that's starting to dry us out, but we still have quite a bit in the way of clouds, and that'll be the case today as we have the clouds across Del Marva stretching back into Virginia. So we'll see the the slightly cooler air and those clouds as well, but nothing in the way of precipitation as we see temperatures in the 40s this morning, mid morning, upper 40s and low 50s, and we'll be in and out of those clouds. More clouds by this afternoon, around 53 in Long Neck, 50 in Seaford, mostly cloudy through this evening and temperatures into the 40s. I think it clears out a little bit as we go through the overnight, but I gave it the green light for the morning commute drying out, so it's back to work and school, so looking good there, good visibility, and then for your average afternoon commute. I think we're in good shape there as well. More clouds than sun and breezy and cool. All right, Bob, thank you. We have an update now on the recreational marijuana situation along our coast. It appears another community is closer to taking action on the drug. Today, Selbyville is proposing to ban the sale and manufacturing of recreational marijuana within its town limits. A public hearing is scheduled for today at 6 p.m. That is at Town Hall on West Church Street. Also happening tonight, Milton Town Council will hear a request to remove the rail trail crossing here at Federal Street. A committee wants to add what's called a flex post in the goal to reduce the crossing distance, slow drivers down, and increase instances of drivers stopping. The committee also requests that Del Dot considers more permanent infrastructure. For the second time this fall, Sussex County Council will hear a slew of conditional use applications about solar farms. They will hear seven applications total. Those applications are in Harbison, Delmar, Lewis, Laurel, Bridgeville, and Georgetown. The solar farms range in size and all are proposed by Con Ed. It's one of the largest energy companies in the U.S. In some national news now, Gaza health officials say that injuries have increased after the week-long truce between Israel and Hamas came to an end. Injured people were rushed to Gaza City's al Alhi Baptist Hospital Sunday. And this comes as Israel ordered more people in crowded southern Gaza to evacuate as heavy embarment, bombardment shifts there. Hospital officials say that those injuries are much more difficult than before this truce. And the mother of one of the three Palestinian college students who was shot in Vermont over Thanksgiving weekend says her son is now paralyzed from the chest down. The 20-year-old junior at Brown University was shot while walking in Vermont and a bullet lodged in his spine, leaving him paralyzed. The student and his two longtime friends were out for a walk when they were shot. That's according to police. Two of the men were said to be wearing traditional Palestinian scarves at the time of the attack. The suspect, 48-year-old Jason Eaton, has been charged in that shooting. A major move in the travel industry now. Alaska Airlines has come to terms on a deal to purchase Hawaiian Airlines. That's according to officials from both companies. The combined organization will be based in Seattle, but Alaska Airlines says it will establish a major hub in Honolulu. John Lawrence shows us how the new deal will benefit both airlines. The two airlines who bear the names of the 49th and 50th states are joining forces. We are coming together and joining networks, um, and uh, this will be pro-consumer uh, and pro-competition. For a price tag of $1.9 billion, Alaska Air announced its plans to buy Hawaiian Airlines. Both airlines bring a tremendous amount to uh, the table here, and it's, it's uh, going to be a, a great combination going forward. The agreement between the two former rivals calls for both carriers to hold on to their individual names. These brands uh, are so beloved in the areas uh, that they serve uh, and the massive amount of loyalty that they've accrued over the years that we're going to do something unique and, uh, and deploy both brands and the combined company. Officials say the combined airline will have more than 1,200 departures per day and will be able to compete with bigger airlines like American, Delta, Southwest, and United. I'm excited about the, what this combination does uh, for the business, and I'm excited about the opportunities uh, that our guests and our employees have with the business going forward. The deal, which is expected to plod along like a taxiing plane, could take between 9 and 18 months to hammer out, and it needs the approval from the boards of both carriers and U.S. regulators. I'm John Lawrence reporting.
The Association of Flight Attendants that represents thousands of flight attendants for both airlines issued a statement saying it will be paying close attention to the merger to see if it will improve conditions for flight attendants. President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden hosted this year's Kennedy Center honorees at the White House on Sunday. The 2023 Kennedy Center honorees are Queen Latifah, Renee Fleming, Billy Crystal, Dion Warwick, and Barry Gibb. President Biden applauded the accomplishments of each honoree while hosting them in the East Room. And when announcing the recipients earlier this year, the Kennedy Center's president called the group of inductees an extraordinary mix of individuals who have redefined their art forms. Well, we still have a lot more news to get to this morning, so don't go anywhere. Still ahead, outdoor dining in Rehoboth Beach. It's on the agenda for city commissioners. What new rules could be decided for restaurants there? And Fenwick Island dredging, what is scheduled to be discussed regarding Fenwick Island's 10-year plan. And another Christmas parade is taking place in Sussex County later today. What time it kicks off and how you can donate to local kids in need. Stay with us on Coast TV News today. Born in the stars, formed in the earth, shaped by designers around the world, and curated by Calsa Jewelers in Lewis. Paul Chen, also known as Sunder Kalsa, is a meditation and yoga master as well as the owner of Kalsa Jewelers. We are Kalsa Jewelers, offer signature pieces that represent the beauty, the love, and also the celebration of our life. Find your peace in Historic Lewis, Rehoboth Beach, Instagram, and Facebook. Need help giving a gift? Make your loved ones feel special. Celebrate their birthday. Congratulate a colleague's achievement by sending them a shout out through Delmarva Life Occasions. All for free on DelmarvaLife.com. Upload a picture with a message about the special celebration. Delmarva Life Occasions is brought to you free by Island Creamery, found in Chincoteague, Salisbury, and Berlin. Get wild on your beach vacation at Barn Hill Preserve. Join us for fun events happening all summer long. Find your zen at Kangaroo Yoga or a playful breakfast at Munchin' with Monkeys. Slow down at Sippin' with Sloths, or laugh it up at Kangaroos and Comedy. We also offer daily otter swims, a unique experience only offered at a few locations in the U.S., or schedule an encounter tour and meet our animal ambassadors up close. Barn Hill Preserve, the world of animals is waiting for you. McMullen Septic Service. Inspection, that's our business. Pumping, that's our business. Installation, that's our business. Repair, that's our business. Three generations and 70 years of experience, we do it all. Remember, every two to three years to pump your septic to keep things running smoothly. Serving Southern Kent and Sussex counties. Trust McMullen Septic Service for all your septic needs. Your business is our business. Six thirty-seven on our back to work and school Monday. Here's our Tyndall's casual furniture cam. Seeing clouds, also blue skies. Sun's up shortly after seven. Forty-seven in Laurel right now. We've got temperatures in the forties. Inland areas don't have to scrape the ice this morning. Forty-two Selbyville, forty-six Seaford, forty-eight Milton, fifty in Rehoboth right now. As we see winds coming out of the northwest, they're light, but they will be breezy today. It will be a cool breeze because we'll see the clouds. We're seeing the clouds right now, mostly cloudy skies, and they'll be with us pretty much all day long. If you're strolling along the boardwalk in Bethany Beach, make sure you bundle up 40s this morning and then into the 50s beginning at 9. A bit of a west-northwest breeze by 11, mostly cloudy around 54. Opening today, the Rehoboth Beach Volunteer Fire Company Hometown Christmas Parade is kicking off, and our very own Madeline Overturf will be the MC. That parade kicks off at 6 o'clock tonight. Also, get this, the fire company will be collecting toys for tots in a Stuff the Ambulance Drive. The Milton Chamber of Commerce is hosting the 31st annual Milton Holly Festival this Saturday, December 9th. That'll be from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. Throughout historic Milton, you'll find shopping, dining, food trucks, of course, Santa, and more. This free event will have over 80 vendors, and they can be found at H.O. Brittingham Elementary School, the Milton Fire Department Hall, and the Milton Public Library. Hey there, Delmarva. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Let's take a look at what's happening Coast Life Monday at 4. Find the perfect gift for yourself and your loved ones at a special holiday sale. 
and we're celebrating the season that keeps on giving with a few easy safety tips. And don't forget, we have a holiday event to make your season shine bright. All that and more, Coast Life Monday at 4. And of course, the holiday season, as Maya just told us, it's here and it has many fun activities for people of all ages during this season. One of those enjoying the holiday lights and the decorations that are put up all over Delmarva. We have some of those decorations right here. Take a look at your screen. This Christmas tree is shining bright in that room. You can see it is lit up and it is decorated with beautiful ornaments all over. But maybe the most unique part is that tree topper. It looks like feathers to me. Very incredible. I'm loving that. This picture was sent to us by Robert and Nina from Milford. And we would love to show how you are decorating your home for the holiday season. So look at your screen. Please send us any pictures, any videos of your beautifully decorated home to coasttvnews.com slash holiday house. And for the Christmas season here on Draper Media, we want to ensure that every child has a present to open on Christmas morning. So here is the list of businesses that have accepted the Shell Brothers Challenge by donating in increments of $1,000. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you to the businesses, groups, and individuals who have stepped up to the Shell Brothers Challenge of donating at least $1,000 to Draper Media's Bless Our Children campaign. And we'd like to recognize those friends now by reading the Shell Brothers donation honor roll in order the amount given in increments of $1,000. Atlantic Community Thrift Shop, officers and members of Ocean City Elks Lodge number 2645, Clark and Sons Garage Doors, Boggs Disharoon Post 123, Eastern Shore Corvette Club, General Refrigeration Company, Caliber Collision, Carolyn D. Lehman Johnson, Wright Locations, Seaboard Billboard Boat, Delmar VFW Post 8276, Tony Tank Tribe 6972, Pocomoke Elks 1624, in memory of Stacy Dorch, Salisbury Elks Lodge, Shagrin Gas and Home Comfort Products, Unfinished Business, Cape Henlopen Elks, number 2540, Bunting and Murray Construction, Peninsula Imaging, ASAP Services, Johnny Janosik, Bob Willie and Sons, Classic Cakes, Ocean City Berlin Optimus Foundation, Tuckahoe Underground, Ocean City Berlin Optimus Club, ABC Refrigeration, Edward Jones Office of Melinda Tingle, J. Stacy Hart and Associates, Goldsboro Family Foundation, Wheels That Heal Car Club, Freddie Holland, Alan Corman and Son, Ramco Solutions, in memory of Shirley Doherty, David and Louise, FH Fur Plumbing, HVAC Electrical, Delaware Mobile Surf Fisherman, Pepsi Bottling Ventures, Collins Wharf Sod, Pools, Pavers, and more. Terra Firma of Delmarva. Eastern Shore Auctions by Willie Benton. Apgar Turf Farm. Jefferson, Urian, Doan, and Sterner, PA. King Crop Insurance. Historical Vintage Car Club of Delaware. Murray's Residential Services. Archon Training Center. Towers Concrete Products. Mid-Atlantic Transport. Officers and members of American Legion Nanocoke Squadron No. 6. In memory of Maurice and Pearl Jordan. GNS Heating and Air, Dagsboro Paint and Wallpaper, MG Safer Services, State Orphans Board, Great Council of Delaware, Mount Zion Holiness Church, Verse Logistics, O'Neill's Millwright and Services, Iron Order Motorcycle Club, Garden Bears Landscaping, in honor of Billo Hickman, Shore Fund Tractor Poolers, Moose Lodge 646, Women of Faith Zion Church Salisbury, in loving memory of John Angelus, Wicomico Lodge 91, Holly Lake Campsite, Cary Insurance Group, Ashley Fence, St. Mark's UMC Easton, Linda Johnson, Delmarva Art Expo and Wool and Fiber Expo, Thomas E. Melvin and Son Funeral Home, Johnson's Seed and Feed, Mike Singleton and Son's Pest Control, Powellville, UMC, Queen City Elks Lodge number 1051, Pumpkin Chunkin Association, Shore United Bank, Allen Lions Club, Paradise Plumbing, Collins Mechanical in memory of Sam Ellers III, Coastal Maintenance, Richard Y. Johnson and Son General Contractor, CJ's Beach Boys, The Carroll Family, Murray Sod Farm, we appreciate all of you stepping up to the plate with the Shells Brothers Challenge as part of the Draper Media's Bless Our Children campaign. If you'd like to help, send your card and donation to Bless Our Children in Care of Draper Media, 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. Or you can donate on our website at blessourchildren.org. 
Thank you for helping make this season merrier for the children of Delmarva. Happy holidays from all of us at Draper Media. Bless Our Children is administered by the Draper Holdings Charitable Foundation. Blake and his friends play festive games and fun never ends. This game is rigged. It's a ho 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 down that shore to rock. The Barmageddon Holiday Bartacular tonight on NBC and Peacock. You have the power to leave the world a little better than you found it. You have the power to live a more carefree life. You have the power to make your home more energy efficient and less costly to operate. Solar from Clean Energy USA can give you that power. With over 14 years of experience and thousands of systems installed, solar power is more attainable than ever with generous incentives making it less costly than you may think. Contact Clean Energy USA today to get your power. The Delmarva Sports Network wants to congratulate the Cape Henlopen Vikings for an outstanding football season. The Delmarva community is so proud of you. Local teams, big dreams. Our gift to you. Enjoy Christmas music on The Duck, your Christmas variety station. <laughs> WRDE Weather brought to you by Window World of Delmarva, simply the best for less. Stop wasting money on high energy bills and call now to beat the winter rush for new vinyl siding with Window World of Delmarva. Call now during our siding sale and get premium vinyl insulated 6000 series siding for only $298.35 per month installed. No matter the size of the project, you can trust Window World of Delmarva to get it done right. Call Window World of Delmarva for a free estimate. Remember, first to call, first to install. 46 on your Monday and we are taking a live look right now at Ocean City where finally the sun is starting to come up starting to show some light there Bob and really make for a, a great day I'm not going to say what, what Matt Pensick likes sunny and 75 we're not there but we're, we're great for December. Yeah, no, oh, that's wishful thinking, yeah. sunny in 75. Uh, we'll be about 20 degrees colder than that. And I don't think we'll see a lot of sun. We'll see some filtered sun, more clouds and sun throughout the day, Paige. And uh, we are looking at our five-day temperature trend with temperatures today a little bit above average at 54 degrees. And then we see a cool down, 48 Tuesday, 46 Wednesday, Thursday only 45. So there's our next little cold snap. It lasts about three days, and then it warms up by Friday up to 55 degrees. The past few mornings we've been able to leave those tender plants outside. I have a lemon tree. I was able to do that. Now I have to pull the lemon tree in and pull in your sensitive plants because we have a light freeze Tuesday and Wednesday morning, a really hard freeze by Thursday. Then Friday, another freeze looks like a frost by Saturday. We're not frost free until Sunday, so we've got a cold snap on the way for sure. 45 in Delmar right now, Salisbury 45, 46 in Seaford, 50 in Rehoboth at a north West breeze is now picking up at around 5 to 10 miles per hour and we'll have that cooler breeze today and we've got some of those mid to high level clouds seeing some breaks out there as well and that'll be the case really much of the day as these clouds are still hanging on over the top of us not seeing anything in the way of precipitation that's farther to the north in fact they're seeing snow across areas of New England and you see this little area of low pressure spinning through southern Illinois that will tend to weaken as it moves our way so that's not really going to be a problem for us. Here's future cast this morning. Temperatures in the 40s, close to 50 in Selbyville at 9. By noon, I think we'll see a mix of sun and clouds and temperatures warming in the low to mid 50s. But that cool breeze, you'll need that jacket into the afternoon, especially with some increasing clouds and temperatures in the low 50s. We'll see 40s this evening with cloudy skies. Then we'll clear out for a bit tonight. We'll call it mostly clear by morning. I think a lot of us are right around 32 inland areas, a little warmer along the beaches. And then Tuesday, we'll call it 
mostly cloudy and even colder. Here's 330, only around 46 from Seaford to Selbyville and Georgetown. So it will be colder and still some clouds into Tuesday night. And there will be a clipper system coming our way, a weaker system that could trigger maybe a few snowflakes or raindrops by Wednesday morning. Nothing significant, but it will be colder with 30s as we go into Wednesday morning. And we'll see these persistent west northwest breezes continuing through today and into tonight. So once again, you'll definitely need that jacket as those winds gusting close to 20 miles per hour at times. Want to fast forward to the weekend. Saturday, I think, is dry. Sunday, not so much. Increasing clouds. Rain, it could be heavy as we go into Sunday evening and Monday. This could be a major system. Maybe big snow back to our west. We'll continue to watch that the next several days. Paul, they have a seven-day forecast. 54 today and then 40s beginning Tuesday right through Thursday. Those overnight lows getting pretty cold down to 26 by Thursday. 55 Friday and the weekend warmer. However, 60 Saturday and then that chance of rain on Sunday, 63. Love and Saturday though, Bob. Thank you. Coming up this week, Fenwick Island will review the dredging committee commitments related to the town's 10-year comprehensive plan. That meeting is slated for Wednesday, December 6th. All three public notification periods have already been completed, and we should learn more about the anticipated timing of those final permits for the project. Happening today, outdoor dining back on the table in Rehoboth Beach. The city is reviewing a design manual at the commissioner's meeting. Restaurants have to meet certain criteria to apply for a permit. That includes table and chair placement on the sidewalk, only two top and or four top tables, leaving room for pedestrian access, putting up physical separation barriers to define that dining space, and more. Application fees are $150. The license itself is $325. The city's also set to discuss possibly extending dates and times when dogs are allowed on the boardwalk and the beach. Are you looking to give this holiday season? Cheer Delaware needs your help. According to the town of Del Mar, Cheer Delaware is looking for drivers in Sussex County who could help transport senior citizens to their medical appointments. Volunteers will be reimbursed for their mileage. For more information, you can contact Cheer Delaware. It is now 6.50 this morning. It's time to check in with our Coastal Pet of the Day brought to you by Maggie's Pet Boutique. And today's Coastal Pet of the Day is in the Christmas spirit. This is Benny. As you can see, Benny is very relaxed in his Christmas pajamas and looking rather dapper in my opinion with his hat and little gloves there. I wish I was doing what Benny's doing in that photo, hanging out in my PJs by the fireplace. I actually have Christmas PJs that look just like that, so we could be twins, Benny. Benny was sent to us by Tammy from Seaford. Thank you for sending us that photo. Please send us pictures of your pets on Delmarva. Send us photos and tell us what makes your pets so special. Take a look at your screen. Email us right there on that email you see and watch weekdays from 5 to 7. You will see all of the pets we feature. And Benny looking good there by the fire. That's a good place to be with this cooler weather. Looking at a lot of clouds out there on our gutter helmet cam right now. A lot of clouds today. It will be cooler and we really cool it down through the rest of the week. In fact, colder weather is on the way. Maybe a few raindrops, snowflakes, not a big deal. We'll talk about that in the 10 day forecast coming up after the break. I was told I would have to live with a burning pain in my feet. Not true. Acupuncture can help. Acupuncture is a holistic approach to treating neuropathy that does not require pharmaceuticals. When I was diagnosed with neuropathy, I didn't think anything could help my pain. After starting my treatments, I'm able to be myself again. Customized treatment plans can relieve your pain. Acupuncture is often the last resort with the best results. To learn more about Delmarva Acupuncture and Wellness Center, visit DelmarvaExperts.com. Positive, focused. Supportive and goal-oriented. These are just a few qualities of coaches who inspire their athletes. Each month, the Preston Automotive Group will select a coach who makes a difference and make a $500 donation to their organization. Then at the end of the year, three of these coaches will receive an extra donation to their program. Nominate your coach today at DelmarvaSportsNetwork.com under the Features tab. Delmarva Sports Network Coach Who Makes a Difference. Brought to you by Preston Automotive Group. Are you troubled by strange smells, uncomfortable rooms, or mold in your home? Do you experience feelings of dread when you enter your crawl space or attic? Does your home suffer from slopes, sags, or other structural concerns? If the answer is yes, pick up your phone and call the home performance professionals like FLC Energy. Don't just treat the systems in your house. Treat your house as the system and call FLC. We're ready to believe you.
sure as the sun will rise I'll be there when you need me With every tear that falls from your eyes Oh, you have me completely I'll be there when you I'll be there when It is 6.54. It's time now for some things you need to know before you go. We have an update on the recreational marijuana situation along our coast. It appears another community is closer to taking action on the drug. Today, Selbyville is proposing to ban the sale and manufacturing of recreational marijuana within its town limits. A public hearing is scheduled for today at 6 p.m. That's at Town Hall on West Church Street. And also happening today, outdoor dining back on the table in Rehoboth Beach. The city is reviewing a design manual at the commissioner's meeting. Restaurants have to meet certain criteria to apply for a permit. That includes table and chair placement on the sidewalks, two top and four top tables, and leaving room for pedestrian access. The city is also set to discuss possibly extending dates and times when dogs are allowed on the boardwalk and the beach. Coming up this week, Fenwick Island will review the dredging committee commitments related to the town's 10-year comprehensive plan. That meeting is scheduled for Wednesday, December 6. All three public notification periods have been complete, and we should learn more about the anticipated timing of final permits for that project. Tonight, Milton Town Council will hear a request to improve the rail trail crossing here at Federal Street. A committee wants to add what is called flex posts in the goal to reduce the crossing distance, slow drivers down, and increase instances of drivers stopping. The committee also requests that DelDot considers a more permanent infrastructure. Well, do you want to be a star-designated driver this holiday season or maybe a dry January champ? Target has some new options for you. They are teaming up with an online retailer called Sachet that specializes in alcohol-free spirits and wines. Target's new line features two celebrity-backed brands, Ken Euphorix from model Bella Hadid and Katy Perry's De Soul. Boozeless beverage sales are growing. It's nearly a half billion dollar industry now as people begin to opt for wellness over drunkness. Not a terrible idea for most people, especially in the holiday season. All right, well, it is almost 6.57 now. It's time for a quick look at your forecast before you head out the door. But first, I want to know, Bob, would you try any of these alcohol-free drinks? Uh, I don't know. I guess it depends on how much sugar is in them. I guess you have to look at the contents, but alcohol free, definitely a good way to go. And if you drink, drink responsibly as well. Make sure you have that designated driver for the holiday season. Out and about today will be a chilly and breezy Monday. We're looking at sunshine and clouds throughout the day and temperatures in the 40s to begin with. And by the afternoon, we're topping out somewhere around 53 or 54. Here's your Paul Davis 10 day forecast. Cold weather's back tomorrow, 32 to start today 48 for a high on Tuesday Wednesday morning could see a few snowflakes a few raindrops not a big deal don't be surprised to see that 46 only 45 on Thursday after a cold start in the mid 20s then we warm it up by the end of the week 55 and then the weekend is mild However, 60 on Saturday, most of the cloudy. There's the however. We've got the rain on Sunday. 63 could linger into Monday. Then it turns colder after that with low 50s. All right, Bob, thank you so much. And thank you so much for joining us on Coast TV News today. The Today Show is coming up at 7 a.m. And then we'll be back with Coast TV News Midday at 11. So stick with us. And, of course, for more news and coverage, you can count on. Download the Coast TV News and weather apps. Have a fantastic Monday morning, everybody.